Hey, this is Chris Miso here. You just got your Logitech keyboard, Logitech mouse, Logitech headset, Logitech gaming pad. I could go on and on with Logitech products. Who doesn't love Logitech? They come out with some really great innovation and really great products overall. How do you set it up? Well, it's gonna be a really simple guide and I'm gonna go over all the issues that people were having, especially with the last video I posted a couple years back and I'm going to address a lot of those issues. Now, some of them will be addressable, some of them will not be addressable. If you are running into an issue with Logitech G Hub and hence why you're here, just check down in the timestamps down below as I do have them all listed and named and hopefully I can resolve your issue. Now, if you're curious what type of Logitech hardware that I'm using, I'm using the G502X Lightspeed mouse. It's an excellent mouse. I love it. It was a great improvement over the G502 Hero. Now let's go straight into it because we need to have G Hub set up. Now the first question was that the app that you're trying to download isn't a Microsoft verified app. Now, if you're running into that issue, more than likely you are in S mode. Whether you're on Windows 10 or Windows 11, you're gonna go over to this Windows button here, you're gonna right click it, and you're gonna go over to settings. Once you go over to settings, you're gonna go over to system. When you go to system, go to the activation side right here, and you're gonna see a screen that's gonna be down here. Now it's not gonna look exactly like mine's. I will show you an example of what it will look like. It will look more like something like this, and you'll see something like S mode, because it's gonna only allow Microsoft verified programs only on your PC. Now to get it out of it, just click the open store button here, it's not going to be anything you have to purchase. It's just going to be something that you're going to have to step out of or exit out of. So if you want to switch out of S mode and just click get, and it will switch it back to a genuine license and you will have full access to download whatever you want. So that is the first problem resolved. Now we're going to install the Logitech setup software and I'm going to answer the second question that a lot of you do have, especially because now in more modern PCs, now we have more than one drive. Because we have more than one drive, we should be able to install it into another directory, as some may have suggested. Now, unfortunately, you won't be able to. I'm gonna tell you right off the bat that you will not be able to install into another directory. Some of you may also have problems with permissions, and to easily avoid that, click that folder button up there, and then you're gonna right click it, and you're gonna run as admin, Make sure to install it and it should install. We're gonna go ahead and let it install because as you can see here, this is pretty much nothing you can change. Now there, there are other ways to do it, but it's not gonna be worth it. Just install it into the C drive. It doesn't take up much space, believe me. So we're gonna go ahead and click the install button and go ahead and have a G Hub set up for your PC. Now, if G-Hub does install, and for some reason it doesn't recognize your device, which is also a big complaint when it comes to Logitech hardware, is you're gonna go over to right click and click the device manager. You're gonna go over and take a look over to whichever device you have. If you have the keyboard, you wanna go over to keyboard to see what it is located. Now, mine's is not gonna say exactly what it is because I do have it hooked up to a uh, USB switcher. So it's not gonna show the exact mouse, but more than likely it's gonna probably come up with something like this, and this is gonna be more or so your issue. Now, when it is, all you have to do is right click it and uninstall the devices. And when you do, that will reinstall the correct drivers. Now, when you install the Logitech software, it should be able to install the drivers by itself. If you're using a keyboard that's wireless or a mouse that's wireless and it's still not recognizing your device, connect it via USB-C. Once it does, more than likely, it's gonna recognize your device afterwards. When it may not recognize it is during Bluetooth because of the radio frequency that it uses the Bluetooth frequency that you use it may not recognize it then. Usually I always recommend to disconnect it, especially if it's wired and reconnect it because sometimes that can also be an issue. It could be the specific USB port 
that you're using. It could be the, it, there's many factors when it comes to it. If you're using any type of extension or if you're even using a multi-switcher TAS such as me through USB ports, that could be also the reason. Just make sure you have a straight connection to your PC. I'm gonna teach you these first buttons down here because this has to do with dynamic lighting for Windows, which is practically the RGBs on your PC and your peripherals. You could turn that on if you want to control it via Windows. If you prefer to control it via Logitech G Hub, you can just make sure it's off. And also the onboard memory. Now the way onboard memory works is if you turn it on, it's gonna give you a message such as this, and you're gonna go into the mouse. Now it's gonna have the profiles that's set up for your mouse. Now you can easily switch it with whatever profiles you have on your desktop, or if you have more than one or two profiles. But right now, I only have the single desktop profile that's on here, so I'm gonna set it up to that, and it will just say default. Now let's switch it off of the memory mode, and we're gonna enter the mouse. Now when you go to sensitivity, right now it's set with three different speeds. Now you can easily add more if you want. You just simply click on the slider if you want another speed. And it, now I got four of them. If you want to get rid of it, you just simply just take it off the slider and it will disappear. The default speed will be the lowest speed usually. And you can uh, control the DPI through the buttons of your mouse. Now the DPI is how fast you want your mouse to move. 1600 DPI is about the speed of your mouse pointer. Now you can easily click this and it will change the default speed to 2400 or if you prefer a very fast mouse, which is at 3200. When I was younger, I was always preferring 3200. As I get older, I realize that a little bit slower is a little bit better for more consistency and accuracy. Well, anyway, Let's go over to the next side. When you go to assignments here, these are all the default Windows assignments, such as here, I just have copy and paste. Now, if you're wondering how to switch it up, all you have to do is just drag it in there. So if I want to do, say, if I want this as the undo button, I just drag it up here in the top instead of hitting Control Z, and now it's the undo side. Now, if I want to do redo, I just drag it here to the paste, and now I have undo redo. The great thing about commands, if you are gaming, it will actually show all the different commands for say Modern Warfare. I'll even share one of my profiles with you, which I personally love, or for my Call of Duty. Now I'll go into the next point here. I want to go over to the key sides. Now you can even program different keys if you want. And as simple as it was to drag a command on there, it's the same exact method. Same thing when it goes to actions, depends on if you want to use Discord. And you can even set up different macros, which are practically commands, but whichever of your choosing. You can even choose specific speeds of a certain macro. Now the system is what it originally comes with and what is set up for default with your mouse. They even have battery levels if you prefer that, where you can do things such as lighting, well, let's go over to the light sync side because here you can actually adjust the animation speeds. You can even freestyle, which is really nice. You can select way different colors if you want. And they even have preset ones, which are pretty decent. But again, Logitech does give you a lot of portability and freedom when it comes to adjusting their mouse. Now, another big issue people complained about is it seems like the profiles are not saving. How do you save if it's not an onboard profile? Just click the back button here, click this menu button, and what you're gonna go over to is games and applications. When you go to games and applications, you're gonna actually hit the share button here, and let's call this profile two, just say. We're gonna include all the macros and we don't have to make it public because we just want to save it. It's practically on the Logitech cloud when you do save it. So you're just gonna publish it. And when you do, you're just gonna to have to log into your account. Once you do, you're just gonna open the link and just click publish. And now it's already saved. Best part is how do you access it? How do you, how do you access that profile? Just hit that back button, click your profile up here and here you can actually download all the different profiles that you have located on your file. And here's the one that I personally love. 
that I got to share with you guys. But anyway, click the menu over here in games and applications. Now you're probably wondering what other things that you can do if you have problems with switching profiles. Now, if you're gaming, this is a big key factor, which I will go into details about when I show you. But anyway, click the details button here. And when you do, you can see that this is the profile that's set as persistent, which means this will be the default profile practically anytime you're out of a game and when you're in Windows for most of the time. Now, when you are using other programs, that it will most likely be the default side if it is not a game or an application that you had set up. Now here you got different macros you can actually set up for the app, the integrations. Now, if you do want to add a game or application, you're just gonna click it and then you can even set it up. Say if you want to set it up for something like if I go here and I go to say Adobe that I wanna set it up for, Adobe After Effects, you can just click the Adobe's After Effects and here you can actually set up the different profiles for it. And when you do, you can click into details and here you got the di even different lighting the assignment. It gives you a good idea of what type of profile that it's automatically defaulted to. Now, if you click set as persistent, then it's gonna act like you're in Adobe After Effects everywhere you go in Windows. Another really neat feature that you have to check out is if you wanna check out other profiles, click community. And here you can actually download different profiles such as, and it's completely free. You just go G502X, just like what I have. And here I can download different profiles. All you have to click download. And once you download it, you just click apply and it automatically applies into your profile, which is a really nice feature. And it will save you. It will also save on your own profile up here. And it actually shows you all the different things that you have downloaded. Now, if you're having problems, say if Logitech isn't opening up, just click the arrow key, go to the Logitech side and launch G Hub. Now, if it's not loading up for some reason, then it can be minimized on your test just like this. Now, if you know it's not and you know it's not minimized, then you're just going to have to exit overall. Now, if it doesn't exit, then you have to force quit out of it just by right clicking the Windows button and click the task manager when you do completely end the task for logitech and when you do reboot the logitech app and it should give you no issues if the issues persist then you have to reboot your pc because more than likely it probably ended up crashing while it was doing an update which is a really common issue that I've noticed with Logitech. Here's another common issue that comes up. Your profile may be disabled. If it is, just simply go to profile switching and make sure it's enabled. That will fix a disabled profile. Hopefully you found this content very useful. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you know anybody else who is struggling to set up Logitech at G Hub, make sure you share this video with them. And also if not part of the big wonderful fan bam, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell for all the newest updates. Make sure you follow my accent over right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. Bam bam guys, is there anything that I missed that you may want to know? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is Chris Mizo signing out.